The Roanoke Valley is mourning the loss of a man who for the past 35 years dedicated his life to honoring World War II veterans. 10 News reporter McKinley Struthers shares the story of Bernard Marie, whose idea for a simple thank you to troops who helped liberate his home country of France turned into an annual event. It's a story of hope. If they have not been successful, I will not be here today. Some say hope is the last thing ever lost. He was a very caring person. Uh, he was a very generous person. While the world may have lost Bernard Marie, the hope that was inside of him lives on, especially in those who knew him best, like Bart Wilner. It's interesting how one person can make a huge difference many, many years later. And that's something we should all learn because we all can do that in our own way, with our own uh, interests. But for me, that was a, a mission to make people know. He let them know by sharing his story of hiding in a basement with his mother for 16 hours on D-Day and living without his father for so long, the not knowing. Since 1984, on the evening of June 5th, he welcomed veterans and their families for a dinner. It happens to be his birthday, but also the anniversary of the last day he and his family spent under Nazi occupation. I had 500 guys coming for my dinner. That was the most expensive birthday for me. While he joked about it, it was his way to say thank you. And he said, my first American word was Hershey's. And, and uh, the other one, I think he said, was freedom. On that day so many years ago, Mr. Marie and a countless amount of others lost so much, but he never lost hope. Hope his family would make it out alive, hope for a better tomorrow, hope for freedom. A building can be repaired, a factory can be repaired. Freedom, if you lost it, is pretty difficult to get it back. Bernard Marie was 82 years old. I'm McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you.